Old school sports, y'all. Robert Latal, Rick Strom with the tyt.com slash app. Download the TYT app. Available TYT. On iOS and Android. Kevin Garnett, nearly a Los Angeles Laker yes. once upon a time. Yes. The Lakers offered a package built around the multi skilled lefty forward Lamar Odom and 19 year old center Andrew Bynum, writes Howard Beck from Bleacher Report. This was in May of 2015. Odom had a history of flaky behavior, however. And Bynum was unproven. Dr. Jerry Buss came to me, this is Phil Jackson, and said, I have a handshake agreement that he's going to come to LA, but Kevin McHale hasn't concurred yet. So I said, well, that's a good excuse. You always, as an owner, say, I'll do this, but... So I kept that hope out there that he was going to be a part of the Laker organization. Here was the player-by-player comparison for their entire careers. Not when Andrew Bynum was in his prime, not when Lamar Odom was in his prime. These are the career statistics. This was nearly the same time where he then became a member, we could show this from the LA Times, a member of the Boston Celtics. Mm -hmm. How would history be different if Kevin Garnett teamed up with Kobe Bryant? How how many times has Lamar Odom been in these almost trades that could have saved the Lakers? I think KG, oh, well, with the Lakers. I was going to say, trades in like the 2010s-ish, Kobe and KG were like, the creme de la creme Crem, right. of like nearly being traded. But I think Lamar Odom is at the crux of the Chris Paul trade that never happened. That right. was, you know, right. banned by the or, or by stopped David Stern. By, by David Stern. Mm-hmm. And now you have this one where he was the centerpiece of the potential Kevin Garnett trade. Mm-hmm. In the end, you know, it's like, wow, people, they really wanted to get rid of Lamar Odom. And they could have turned that into something that would have saved the franchise and not have it go through that almost decade now, almost a decade now right. of losing. So right. KG, I, they would have won a championship. They would have won. I think they would have won a few. They would have won a few championships. So, but, but the main thing is, as we've seen with many trades, mm-hmm. even with Kawhi Leonard, yeah. you trade him to the other conference. Get rid you of don't him. trade right. him in conference. It, it, yeah. it is faux pas that it, that it occurs. But that cost the Lakers at least one championship, mm-hmm. you know? And, mm-hmm. and, if he, and obviously that would have stopped the Celtics from you know, so it could have they could have won multiple ones. Should That's a great a point. Yeah. So yeah. they would have gotten the Celtics' own way and exactly. would have gave up almost nothing yes. to the Timberwolves. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's a trade that's not talked about a lot. You know, that it that he could have went because we all know about the Boston and the connection between Mikhail and the Celtics, but we yes. never talk about the other options that were out there. And, and there were a few. And the Lakers obviously was a big one. It's 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 crazy that it's taken 10 years almost for the Lakers to get another big fish. And they finally have. Yeah. It's amazing that the Timberwolves then got Sebastian Telfair <laughs> and Al Jefferson, who they were infatuated with in company. They love some Al Jefferson. They really do. Yeah.